Hi and welcome to Roo's Kitchen and Garden. Today I'm going to make a very simple pasta, a creamy pasta, which is a sure hit with kids. It is loaded, but kids are eating it and they anyways go out and burn their energy. So I'm making this creamy carbonara for my son and his friend who's going to come over for a play date. So let's see the ingredients to make this creamy carbonara. So let's take a look at the ingredients uh, that you need for this um, penne carbonara. You can also use spaghetti, but I have loads of penne in the house right now, so I'm finishing up the penne. And uh, I feel penne is easier for the kids to just uh, prick their fo uh, forks into the penne and eat rather than rolling the spaghetti and mm, creating a mess everywhere. I have no issues with the mess. I'm just uh, making their life easier. We need uh, peppercorn, we need salt, we need um, basil leaves. Uh, we need some hard cheese, so you can either use a parmigiano reggiano or a pecorino. Um, I'm using a parmigiano reggiano cheese. Um, you can use any hard cheese. Um, this is half and half. If you don't have half and half in your country, if it's not easily available, this pasta cream works perfectly well. Then we have two egg yolks here. Uh, it gives a nice creamy texture to the pasta. I have some pancetta which is a cured ham. If you don't have pancetta or if you don't get pancetta that easily, you can also use a streaky bacon. I'm using both just to mm, make it more indulgent for the kids. Uh, so these are our ingredients. We keep the pasta for a boil with uh, salt and water and little olive oil. And I've put a pan here on heat and let's start making the pasta now. So we put a pan on the gas stove. And um, if you're using pancetta, straight away fry the pancetta. I'm using, I'm also using crispy bacon, so I'm going to add some crispy bacon in the pan. And I'm going to fry it. We'll fry it until it gets really nice, brown and crispy sizzling away in the pan now. So our bacon is almost done. It's nice and crispy and brown. I've transferred it into another plate. Now I'm going to add my uh, pancetta in the same pan. Thin and streaky. It won't take too much time to cook. Just uh, Make sure we add it separate in the pan. Okay. Uh, and now I'm going to cook this and again make it crispy just like the bacon. Um, you know we can also use this colorful pasta with different shapes. Kids really like this. It's beautiful. Why just kids? I think even we as adults like it. It's so beautifully made. So yeah, you can get that also. And now uh, we are making the pancetta slightly crispy. Finish frying the pancetta. It's become nice and brown and um, crispy. Uh, we leave it aside now. Now our pan still has a lot of oil from the fat from the pancetta. You can use this, you don't need to use any extra oil or you can reduce this. I'm going to reduce this oil a bit. It's a very flavorful oil. So you can take a slice of bread and add it in this oil and fry it and toast it and have it for your breakfast the next day. Um, it is very nice oil. You can even um, take it out, cool it, freeze it. And next time when you're roasting potatoes or something, you can use the same oil. So I'm going to transfer this oil into another container. I won't take all of it. It's too much for the kids. So I'm going to transfer this. And whatever's left on the pan, I'm just going to use that oil to cook our uh, sauce. So now... We'll switch on the gas and uh, into the pan goes your cream, your half and half. Add 
add your cream and uh, let this come to a simmer. Then we'll add the remaining ingredients. Now when this sauce um, kind of simmers away a bit, we will add our egg yolks into this and we'll whisk them together nicely. So I'm mixing my egg yolks in it and I'm going to mix them together. Mix this well and let it come like to a slight simmer. Yeah, it's boiling away and it's starting to boil, bubbling away. So, at this point, when it starts to bubble, we'll add our cheese. Although, in my case, the parmesano risano cheese that I'm using. I'm going to put it inside. Reduce the flame as the cheese melts. Add some salt and some pepper to this. Some freshly ground pepper. Mm -hmm. The cheese had and even the, the cheese, the pancetta, the bacon has a lot of salt. So be very careful while you are adding any extra. You don't want to make it too salty. So here we are. If you think your sauce is too thick, please add some pasta water. Or even before you are reheating, spare some pasta water and add it to this if you feel it's too thick. Now I am going to add uh, our pancetta, crispy as it's become. Add your pancetta to this. You can add it whole or you can even crush and add it up to you. Mm, it looks, looks delicious. Um, you can even add a bit of nutmeg to this. So we'll add some nutmeg. Very less, not too much because it's quite overpowering. But it imparts a very nice flavor to the white sauce. And we just went away. This is it, not too much, nothing to be done. It's really creamy and a very nice sauce. Very tasty and creamy. And like I said, if you feel it's thick, please add some pasta water to it. Now I'm going to add the crispy bacon that we have spared into this. So I haven't uh, crushed the crispy bacon, that goes like pieces, like bits into this whereas the pancetta was crushed so pancetta that imparts a nice flavor to the sauce and then I'm going to add these handful of fresh basil leaves from our garden to the pan here you go, just cut some leaves That's it. Once the pasta is done, or just before serving, um, we we'll heat the pasta. I mean, we we'll, we'll uh, boil the pasta just before serving, and we'll transfer it into this. Or if you want to pre-boil the pasta, just before you're serving, pour hot water in your pasta and leave it for like uh, five minutes. Drain out the hot water and your pasta is as good as fresh to be served. So that's it. Uh, we shall add the pasta in this now.
pasta is boiled and ready and we've spared the pasta water now i'm going to add this pasta water into our sauce because it's become dry so we'll add some pasta water in this depending on how thin you want to make it mix it together and uh, let it come for a boil so it come to a boil going to add some more to make it really saucy now the sauce is boiling away we added some water in it and we will add this pasta in another bigger bowl where it's easy for us to move the sauce and uh, it's easy for us to transfer now we'll add the sauce in this pasta and then we'll mix it nicely together all right now we give it a nice mix nice and creamy yeah. now you can sprinkle some more cheese if you want i think it's already very cheesy so i'll just uh, let the pasta heat a bit and add a little more water just a little more yeah so it remains moist and give it a nice mix this looks really good wonderful now we'll transfer this once it's a little done we'll transfer this to a nice bowl and you can uh, garnish it with some more cheese and basil leaf here it is we've served it in individual bowls and now we are ready to munch on them bye hope you enjoyed this um, simple simple video on making simple creamy carbonara for the kids they all enjoy it it's easy and it's hassle free um if you've liked what you've seen please like subscribe and leave a comment on our page uh we also have a facebook and instagram account thank you bye bye